of this procedure is the non-invasive collection of synovial fluid and bone marrow from many pigs to collect mesenchymal stem cells to be used in regeneration and immunomodulation studies. This method can help answer key questions in the autologous MSC therapy field, such as how to establish synovial fluid, MSC, and how to characterize them in comparison to bone marrow MSC. The main advantage of this technique is to effectively establish the key properties of synovial fluid and bone marrow-derived MSCs from mini-pigs, which will be useful for application in patients. The implications of this technique extend toward therapy of various joint diseases, because the population of the synovial fluid-derived MSC in the synovial cavity is significantly increased in athletic patients. Though this method can provide insight into regenerative medicine, it can also be applied to other studies such as autoimmune disease research because mini pig MSC autologous immunosuppression mediators to humans. In addition to the other scientists demonstrating the procedure will be Hyun Jung Lee and Won Jae Lee from my laboratory. To begin, orient an anesthetized mini pig to access the iliac crest. Next, depilate a 15 square centimeter region on the iliac crest using a razor or clippers. Then, alternately scrub the exposed skin three times with povidone iodine and 70% ethanol. Once completely dried, apply sterile drapes. Now, pre-coat a 10 milliliter syringe with heparin using a 3 to 4 milliliter rinse. This will prevent the bone marrow from coagulating while it is extracted. Then, precisely at the iliac bone crest, tightly attach a bone marrow extractor to the heparin coated syringe and extract at least 5 milliliters of bone marrow. To isolate the cells from the extracted bone marrow, first dilute it with an equal volume of DPBS in a 15 milliliter conical tube at room temperature. Then, load 3 milliliters of density centrifugation media into a second 15 milliliter conical tube. Next, carefully transfer 4 milliliters of the diluted bone marrow onto the density centrifugation media to create two solution layers. Now, centrifuge the tube at 400 Gs for 40 minutes at room temperature. The desired MNCs are collected in the central white layer. Aspirate just this layer. Eject the MNC layer into a 15 milliliter conical tube and dilute it with 7 to 8 milliliters of DPBS. Then, centrifuge the cells at 500 Gs for 10 minutes at room temperature. Discard the supernatant and wash the pelleted cells twice with 10 milliliters of DPBS, repeating the previous centrifugation cycle. After the two washes, resuspend the MNCs in 2 milliliters of ADMEM. Then, load the cells onto a 35 mm tissue culture dish and incubate them at 38.5 degrees Celsius in a humidified 5% carbon dioxide incubator. After 48 hours, aspirate the medium along with the unattached MNCs. Then, add back 2 milliliters of fresh ADMEM and continue the incubation, changing the medium every 3 days. 
When the cells reach 70 to 80% confluency, wash the culture with fresh DPBS. Then, dissociate the cells using 1 milliliter of 0.25% trypsin EDTA for 3 to 5 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. Collect the cells in 10 milliliters of ADMEM and transfer them into a 15 milliliter conical tube. Then, spin the cells down at 300 Gs for 5 minutes at room temperature and discard the supernatant. Now, suspend the harvested MNCs in 1 milliliter of fresh ADMEM and measure their density. Finish with plating between 1 half and 3 quarter million cells into T25 flasks with 4 milliliters of ADMEM. Incubate the flasks just as the plates and change the medium every third day. Prepare a 15 by 10 cm section of skin over the femoral joint as was done when preparing for bone marrow collections. Then, palpate for the patella and tibia crest below the skin to identify the synovial joint and insert a 3 mL syringe with a 23 gauge needle precisely into the joint. Using gentle suction, Extract between 1 half and 1 milliliter of fluid and immediately withdraw the needle. If the synovial fluid volume is too small, then flush the cavity with DPBS to collect synovial fluid with DPBS. The volume of DPBS to use varies with the size of the synovial cavity. The obtainable volume of synovial fluid is limited in healthy joint. The volume varies with the size and pathological condition of each joint. To isolate the cells from the synovial fluid, dilute the fluid with an equal volume of DPBS in a 15 milliliter conical tube at room temperature. Next, remove the debris by filtering the dilution through a 40 micron nylon cell strainer. Then, add 10 more milliliters of DPBS and centrifuge the suspension at 400 Gs for 10 minutes at room temperature. Next, discard the supernatant and wash the cells two times using DPBS. Resuspend the washed cell pellet in 2 milliliters of ADMEM. Then, proceed with culturing the cells as was demonstrated with the MSCs. MSCs were successfully isolated from the bone marrow and articular synovial joints of the mini pigs and expanded in vitro. The morphology of synovial fluid-derived MSCs is similar to that of bone marrow-derived MSCs. Both have a fibroblastic spindle shape and are homogeneously adherent. The MSCs showed positive expression for alkaline phosphatase staining after the third subculture was completed. Next, surface markers were analyzed in both cultures. As expected, both types of MSCs significantly expressed CD29, CD44, and Vimentin. By contrast, expression of CD34 and CD45 were negative and low. These results were identical to those obtained from distinctive MSCs, including cells isolated from synovial fluid. After watching this video, you should have a good understanding of how to non-invasively aspirate synovial fluid and bone marrow in order to isolate their MSC from mini pigs, and how to perform the cultivation and phenotyping of this MSC. While attempting this procedure, it's important to remember to locate the exact point on the iliac crust and the synovial cavity by careful palpation. Following this procedure, uh, other methods like any models of osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis 
can be performed in order to answer additional questions like whether Radoni from Mero MSC but also synovial fluid MSCs have a significant capacity for cartilage or bone regeneration and immunospirations. After its development, this technique advanced autologous therapy of joint diseases by helping to characterize MSCs derived from attacked or inflamed joint in arthritis patients.